Hey, Raven, when you're just in general, if you're you're playing two games against a team, would you have a preference of going against a fast pitcher first and then the slow pitcher, slower pitcher, or vice versa? Or do you care? Um, I don't really think it matters. And, um, you know, Leslie Jury actually throws um, pretty hard, too. I wouldn't definitely wouldn't call her a slow pitcher. <laughs> so um, I think they're actually both really similar in the pitches they throw. So, um, just, you know, preparing for both of them. That way you're ready for whoever throws first. But I don't really have a preference because, I mean, you're going to probably face both of them anyway. In, in terms of your own, I asked this to Alabama, in terms of your own, uh, of going against Ivy and Allen because they have such distinctive styles. Yeah. I mean, would you, is it easy, is it harder to bat against the faster one for first or second? Or? I think, you know, I think either way it throws you off. I know we hit off them in practice, you know, all the time. And, you know, when we're facing Ellen, it's, you know, spin, spin, movement. And you're like, oh, my gosh, it's like a cartoon. It's just going like this. And then you go and face Ivy, and you're just like, okay. And then, you know, if you're facing Ivy first, and you finally get that timing down, and then you go and face Ellen, who does definitely doesn't throw slow, but slower, and then uh -huh. it's moving. So, I mean, just being able to adjust, I think that's really going to, you know, work in our favor, just having two pitchers that are of that caliber, but yet so different. Raven, you, you guys, have, the core of this team has kind of been on, on the biggest of stages before. I mean, yeah. before a, a series like this, I mean, what's the nerves like? Do you still get nervous or is it just kind of you're used to it now? No, not nerves at all. Um, I'm excited. Um, to me, there's no point in being nervous. I mean, sure, when the game starts, you get a little bit of butterflies, but, you know, that's like the good kind. Um, <laughs> you know, like I said, the upperclassmen, we've been here before plenty of times, and, um, you know, we're just going in there giving it 100% everything we got. So, you know, not playing careful, you know, we're going to be playing aggressive and, you know, playing every single game like it's our last. Were there nerves the first Super Regional, the first NCAA tournament back there, your freshman year? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> My freshman year, I remember going to Michigan, you know, yeah. facing, you know, Jordan Taylor and Nikki Nemitz and just being like, oh, my gosh, you know, like, you know, just, you know, as a freshman. But, um, you know, you learn and you grow from that. And, um, you know, after going to the World Series, you know, a couple of times and playing in this league, there's really no time to be nervous, you know, because every single weekend feels it's like you're playing in a super regional and you're in the SEC. So, <laughs> Ellen, you and, and when Ralph and Karen are deciding on the pitching, you guys really don't know until right up until right up until the game. Right. Do, does that uncertainty bother you, or is it? Are you very comfortable with it since you've been doing it? Yeah, I think me and Ivy and um, Cheyenne, just our entire pitching staff, is has um, become comfortable with the way that they run things. Um, we all three know that we have to be ready at any point during the game, whenever um, whenever they call us. So I think coming in to, um, to each game and to, uh, coming to the clubhouse every day, we both, or all three of us know that we have to, um, to come mentally prepared um, just to be ready to go in whenever they, whenever they call us. <laughs> what are your memories of, of going, do you, having pitched against the team before, how well do you retain that when you're playing them again? It's been a while since you mm -hmm. played Alabama, but in your mind, can you recall certain certain hitters and what they liked, or is that, or do you have to go through the game plan instead and get scouting reports? Yeah, Karen usually is the one who we leave. You know, like what what certain hitters hit, what they don't, like all the stuff like that. We usually leave that up to Karen. Um, I mean, after being here for three years, yeah, you remember certain hitters and kind of just the way that they approach hitting, um, but not necessarily anything that they like to hit. It's just more of, hey, it's Alabama. Um, they obviously hit the ball well, so we just have to make sure that we stay within our own game and not focus too much on what they're doing, but make sure that we focus on us and um, just do our role. Raven, could you uh, talk about what it means to you to be named the academic All-American? <laughs> yeah. Um, I usually get like pretty just like, you know, just a little weird when I talk about stuff like that. But um, to me, uh, that's just probably the most important thing, you know, individual award that um, I've ever gotten. And it's the most thing I'm most proud of, even over all American, because it recognizes not just athletic performance, but, you know, academics. And anyone who knows me knows that um, I'm pretty crazy about my grades. and. Uh, <laughs> 
So, um, and I wasn't necessarily the best student in high school either. I mean, I think my freshman year in high school, I got like four C's and how to work my way up to getting my grade point average up. So um, when I got to college, I really made a commitment saying, you know, I wanted to graduate with, you know, a 3.8 or better and I knew like I could do it. And, um, you know, just really putting academics first. So for that to get recognized, you know, I was really, really happy. And I know my parents are even more happy than I am. So, you know, it's a huge honor and I'm really happy and proud of it. You, you obviously work hard at academics, so is it kind of nice, you know, now that the school year's over, you can you can just kind of focus on softball? Oh, now? absolutely. Um, you know, just to, not just be done, but uh, for summer, but just done in general because I'm graduating and I don't have time to go to school ever again. So, um, yeah, you know, it's a great feeling and just to be able to focus on softball and that's what we all love about the postseason, just focusing, you know, on one thing, not having to worry about finals and I think I can speak for the whole team when we say we're so happy that's done with. Yes. <laughs> can you all talk about Alabama? I know you've played them many times and you know them. Is that a good thing? Are you glad that you'd be playing a team you're familiar with or would you rather play somebody new? Um, for me, I think I... I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter either way. Um, coming into it, you know, you have to bring your A game, whether it's a team um, that we've never played before, or whether it's a team in the SEC. Um, yeah, you know a little bit more about each other, so that um, that adds a little bit more of a competitive edge to the game. But I think either way, you've got to bring your best, no matter who it is. And the teams are all good at this point. For sure. Yeah, <laughs> I think you know, like they know you, you know them. Um, it's an advantage and a disadvantage for both teams when it comes to certain areas. But like Ellen said, um, you're going to have to probably play an SEC team eventually anyway. And um, so, you know, just deal with what you got and don't really focus too much on, oh, we have to play Alabama again. Like, just look at it as a new series and just go. Because uh, when we played them, it was the very first SEC series of the year. And both teams are extremely different. Uh, so um, it's just, in my opinion, it's going to be a new series. Not even looking at the old stuff that happened in the sure. beginning of March. <laughs>